Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't seen me before, my name is Sharon and I do all things anti-aging. If you like the video, please consider subscribing if you have the time that is. Now, February the 14th is just around the corner and if you are feeling a bit jolly, elevenses and just, oh, saggy eyes, wrinkly eyes and you've been asked or told, asked, whatever, you are going on a special weekend away, a night away, just an evening out dining or doing something absolutely amazing or even if it's just a romantic night in the house watching your favourite movies, eating your favourite meal and uh, a little bottle of um, vino or whatever you prefer, it's up to you, um, you want to look your best, you know, you want to look your best. Now, you see this? It's not that I have the third eye, I do not. This is um, a patch, I know there's probably people out there that are like that. Yeah, I know what it is, Sharon, I've seen it before, seen it before. Um, this is a patch from Frownies, and it's a, a, a frowny facial patch. Now, what does that mean? You know when we start getting the elevenses, or with me, it was just a one, a one. I had one line up there, hated it. And then that one line invited a friend over, and now I have an elevens. Thank you. But, um, so the frowny patch, what it does is, when you apply it each night, um, long term, it does train the muscle into not frowning so much. It relaxes the muscle, um, but it does take a period of time. It doesn't happen in a week or two weeks or a month. It takes time. So what you have to do is, is apply this before bed or even um, like if you're off at the weekend, um, you have your shower or you just, you know, whatever you have to do cleanse your face, put this on and just leave it there. Because the longer um, it's there, you're, it's like being at the gym. You're really going out there working those muscles. But the thing is, you're not working those muscles, you're relaxing the muscles so that they're not like, and really giving us deeper and deeper frown lines. Now, let's go on with the matter in hand. We want to eliminate these now. Can, I did say it takes a period of time, and it does. But when you actually peel this off, for a short time, for a short time, all those frown lines have diminished. Now I'm going to show you. When you do apply it, you apply it to a clean, dry face. You wet the um, shiny side. You apply it. You can apply it with all your creams, lotions and potions. I've done it, I've made a video about it, and it sticks. But when you're peeling it off, you just don't want to rip it off your head because you will be left with a little red triangle. They do say, moisten it with a wee bit of liquid or a river. I'm just gonna rub this in. I can feel it. I will still have a purple mark because that's the way it works. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm going to... Oh, forgive me. Look at this. Professional... Look at this. I'm also going to put in a picture I took prior to using this. Um, so that you can see this is after you take it off and it does last a couple of hours and then but believe you me the longer you use it the more your muscles are not frowning that's why I do not have very deep lines at this moment because I haven't been frowning all night the longer you lose it the longer you use it, the 
you know, the better it gets. Now, so there we have our elevenses eliminated at the moment. So what else can we do for this? The jewels and all that other stuff. Now, where is this box? I swear to God, I normally throw these away, but I actually salvaged this one and it is My Perfect Facial by the company My Perfect Cosmetics. Now, what does that do? Well, basically, I have made a couple of videos about this and because I really wanted to see, you know, it's like anything. You do it and you think, oh yeah, I can see the difference, but you really canny, canny, I'm so Scottish. Uh, you can really can't. So what I actually did in an old video is I only used half the product on one half of my face, cleansed it, and then compared it with the other half. And believe you me, the difference was unbelievable. This side was like that, and this side was jowly. Jowly, that's all I've got to say. Now, the most prominent place I did see it was here, in the jowl area. So anyway, I'm going to use it again and see if uh, our Valentine's night out could be improved by looking younger. So we're going to we're, we're going to look at this. So um, we have the elevating powder. We also have um, a little cup, little spoons. Um, what else do we have? It's lying about here somewhere. We also have it's this one. It's the collagen soak. And that's the last product. And we also have, I had to look for it there. And this is um, the activating gel. Now you also get a little brush with this from the neck up. And when you get to the forehead, you add a little more pressure. So let's do it. I'm not going to be talking in this because it'll take too long. And this video is long enough, I'm sure. I'm sure you understand that. So here we go. When you get here, you go, you swipe upwards. Here, I know I said I would be talking, but I need to explain this. Swipe upwards. Avoid the under eye area. Now, I did make a video before where I didn't avoid it and all my under eye area was like tight, looked great. Um, but I do not recommend you do that just in case of skin sensitivity. Doesn't work for you. I have skin like an old bloody leather handbag, so was it too bad for me? But um, I put it under my eyes, I put it on my eyelids. And for the first time in ages, I actually had, um, what do you call them? Um, eyelids. Yeah, eyelids. But don't do this. Avoid the under eye area and avoid the eyes. I'm just doing this because I really want to look my best. So avoid the under, I'm, I'm, I'm repeating this, avoid the under eye area and avoid, um, you, you, maybe you could do it, just do it here, but don't do your eyelids. Like I said, um, that's just me. Don't take anything I do as 100% right. Um, I do my research, but when it comes to my applications, I am not expecting anybody that doesn't have the same skin as me to follow my instruction. Please don't do that. I just have skin like an old leather handbag. So I'm just doing this. Um, you can do the exact same thing except for the eyes, under the eyes and the eyelids. I'm going to use all the rest of this up because there is quite a lot. I mean, it looks nothing when you first um, put it into the bowl and you think, oh God, that's not enough. But believe you me, this stuff goes a long, long way. Now, after that, what you do is, as you wait for 30 minutes, I'll just check my time here because my videos do tend to go on and on and on. So that's me. Finito. I'm going to wait 30 minutes and I will get back to you. Let's have a look. I'll get back to you in 30 guys. Sorry about that guys. Actually, do you know something? Sometimes when you see um, things that do happen, 
keep them in the videos if you are a YouTuber and then if it happens to someone that's actually watching and following your channel they can actually see oh that happened to me or um, it didn't happen to that YouTuber why is it happening to me um, basically because I'm in my little um, room here doing obviously this video I do not have access to you know my toilet and uh, bathroom sorry my bathroom and to be able to cleanse my face properly so I was left with residue that's not going to happen to you when you cleanse your face properly now I didn't and I was left with white marks everywhere and even when I was putting on this I have more believe it or not more than I need um, I could feel this graininess and that's why I thought stop you haven't got this product properly off your face now this like I said is the collagen soak I'm going to just rub it in mm -hmm. dab it on my face my neck area Do you know something I can still feel someday? I'm not going to lie. I'm going to rub this. That's why um, when you are using it, obviously use your bathroom. Cleanse it off properly. It's not brilliant doing it on um, YouTube unless you have um, a great facility or you have a massive bathroom where you can get your lights, camera, and then there's you showing off your products. My bathroom's too small for that. As you all, people that do follow me know, I live in a tiny house with a tiny kitchen and a tiny bathroom. I really do not have the, um, I'm not making excuses for myself, guys. Please don't think that. I just do not have the space to set up in my bathroom and wash my face and get everything done. I was doing it here in my bee room. Big fail, so don't do that. Anyway, enough of me complaining. Let's see how we've done. Let's move this here back because it is a tad. No. I just don't want to get any shadows here. This is horrible. It's horrible lighting. I just got two soft boxes. They're, they're not the greatest. Here is my gels. Maybe if I move my head over here beside the light, you might be able to see it. my gel layer. We should get something white. Oh, that's working. Thank you, Christina. My pal sent me these, Christina Collins. Check out her channel. So, there we have it. Put it here. There we have it. Those gels aren't as pronounced I should do it I've done this in darkness I always try to do it in lightness and it just gives no justification so here we have it I am I'm not trying to like manipulate my face for it to look better but here we go here we go anyway my perfect facial plus the frowny patches, here we are, frowny patches, um, can give you, have you seen that? I did I show you that? I've been talking that much, I can't even remember. Um, I hardly in the livings now, I have a one, um, it, they do work. So, um, if you're going on a lovely Valentine's weekend night, romantic night in, enjoy yourselves and happy Valentine's Day guys. You take care. Bye.